What's going on YouTube? This is What Would Josh Do? And this company reached out to me and wanted me to test out one of their new smart travel locks and I agreed. So let's go ahead and do a quick little unboxing of this tiny little box here and let's demo the product and see, you know, what it's about. After watching their video on their YouTube channel, which I will link in the description below, you'll need to click the show more button to expand the description and see all the links. But I'll have it linked down in there. I was actually very creative and uh, basically kind of like, you know, I I'm a hype man. I like uh, things that get me excited and thrilled. And that video definitely did that. So definitely check out the video. I'm going to link in the description for their product. Their video was quite hilarious and clever. So doing this without a knife is not the easiest task. I'm kind of mutilating the box here, but here is the lock. Just a little thing, and that's about it. Nothing else in here, so there you have it. Just go ahead and use this little part to lock things, so you can press this button and unlock it if you set it to do that. So let's go ahead and grab our phone, and one of the first things we're gonna do is go to the uh, Google Play Store and search for the app Airbolt. So I went ahead and found the little app here. Let's go ahead and install it. Wow, it's kind of a big app, 31 megabytes. At least most phones these days can handle stuff like that. I have unlimited T-Mobile. Why are you gonna tell me some warning? I don't need to freaking... <laughs> so let's go ahead and sign up for an account. All right, once you sign up, it's going to ask you to verify. I went to my computer real click and quick and just click the email. You could also, of course, you know, use your phone email, but I just wanted to use the computer. I use a different email for uh, accounts that are or for accounts that are important than the one that I use on my phone because the one on my phone is pretty generic. Uh, one lock in the airbolt, please pull the latch rope from the point shown by the arrow. So pull it out. Well, oh, when unlocking the airbolt, pull from. Okay. So allow. Let's add an airbolt. Says hold the left and right buttons for one to three seconds okay so i held them now for three seconds the little light turned green and then it went away so i don't know if it's done yet oh there it goes it's flashing all right so let's go ahead and take a picture you don't have to, but, you know, whatever. Let's do a picture of the lock. And we'll press OK. And set it. Name your air bolt. What would Josh do? Done. Done. OK, so... For phoneless access, you can use the backup button, enter a combination using the left and right presses. So, okay, I'll show you, why not? Uh, let's do left, left, right, right, left, left. Save passcode. And then left, left, right, right, left, left. You don't have to press very hard. And there we go. Shows the battery is 84%, so you can know, hey, you're fixing the need to charge this thing. <laughs> and let's go ahead and click on it. What can we do here? We can press that, maybe. And it's, oh, it's just green. It's unlockable. There we go. Now these come out. And you can lock up your luggage with it. And you just attach it inside there to lock it. You'll have to excuse the condition of the bag I'm fixing to show you, because I've had this thing since I was uh, in the service. So it's, it is a old backpack that has been in the desert it has been in all sorts of nasty environments so uh, <laughs> you'll just have to excuse how it looks so we're gonna go ahead and take this i'm gonna go ahead and just use it for here just for demonstration purposes let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit all right so let's go ahead and lock it up and boom the little light turned red it's not coming out of there it is good awesome so if we want to unlock it we can do left left right right left left and it comes out that's too freaking cool so if i don't have my phone like i don't want to go get it because it's somewhere else 
I can't pull that out. And then I can just do left, left, right, right, left, left. Boom. That's stupid awesome. Like, I cannot tell you how awesome that is. And we have a little picture for it. We can ring it. It's freaking making sounds. This thing is way too stinking cool. Go ahead and turn the music off. We can find it where it's at. Obviously, it's going to track the last time it was connected to your phone. So, unfortunately, I can't show you much. <laughs> because I'm at home right now, and I don't want that to be shown. Oh, that's cool. Tells it was unlocked by me, the time. Uh, and it was auto-unlocked. And it gives me the address that it was unlocked at. So, this is too freaking awesome. Uh, and then it has a little green icon that shows you it was unlocked by the app or a red one for physical access. Like you did it from, so I can give my dad, I can give him access, like share my codes with him. And so you click the sharing button and I can add a user. And there we go. I can set the limited or unrestricted so they can open it all they want, whenever they want. I'm the owner. So I would do like my dad would be unrestricted. Uh, my wife would be maybe limited <laughs> and then I would set the date when it expired <laughs> and the time <laughs> I'm just kidding uh, but security I don't know let's see what this allows you to set airbolt security levels when shared with the user the user must be connected to the internet when unlocking the airbolt this ensures their access is always current and you can track the usage of the airbolt this user is not required to have internet when connected to an airbolt that's that's pretty freaking cool. So then you can read the unrestricted, limited, and owner. So I wouldn't give anybody else owner except you. I would just do unrestricted for people you really trust and limited for people who need access to it, but you don't trust. And you choose their, choose their name and their email and they'll get a link. They'll click it and they'll set up an account and it'll be attached to their account. So that's pretty cool. And under lock settings, you can do tone. Ooh, what's, the, what's the other tone? I want to hear that tone. So done. And then... Settings saved, and... Oh, it is different. Awesome. Maybe in future updates, they'll allow more tones. You'll be able to set more settings with that tone. Helps keep your airbolt near you at all times, so low sensitivity, a phone alert, an airbolt alert. All right, so that's pretty cool. It'll notify you if you're locked on within range or if you, uh, for whatever reason, like maybe someone took your bag and you didn't notice it. But now your phone's giving you an alert and your lock is going off. That's pretty cool. All right. So after messing around and trying to figure it all out, I'm now getting this really loud alert on my phone and my air bolt that I am uh, too far away from it. All right. So let's go ahead and stop that. <laughs> and let's go ahead and change that setting to uh, off. And then done. And then under here, you can also choose the reset. Resetting allows you to enter a new pattern on this lock. You can update the firmware to see if you have the one. So your firmware is up to date. Cool. And you can rekey the air bolt where it needs a different pattern. To wrap up this video, I want to go ahead and demonstrate some more things. I have went ahead and logged in on my Nexus 6P here, which does not have service, but it is connected to Wi-Fi. You can go ahead and reset the key. And what I did not know was on here, you can set one like left, right, left, right, left, right. Save passcode. And it's going to tell you left, right, left, right, left, right, confirm. And then we're going to hit done. And now the settings are saved. So we'll go ahead and clear out all of our apps here and turn our phone off. And then we'll press left, right, left, right, left, right. It went green. Now we can unlock it, put it on something and then lock it and it flashes red to let you know that it's locked and we'll do that again left right left right left right and now it's unlocked again so this is a pretty awesome lock i at this point cannot recommend it enough if you have luggage you want to lock up and keep safe and now it's a nice neat little thing and then you do have a little tsa key so if you take it on an airplane they can put a little key in there and open it up without your combination and you don't need to worry about that on the back here, you do have the little charging port. So we'll go ahead and grab a battery bank. Uh, we'll just use a uh, wall charger and we'll hook it up to the, ba ba the <laughs> I can't even talk, the back of the battery here. 
or the lock and the little lights are flashing letting you know it's charging and you want to go ahead and get it to 100% and then it should last you for a very long time and then I'd say when it gets down to about 50 or so go ahead and charge it back up before you use it some more because you don't want it dying on you and if it does die you can just bring you a little battery bank and let it charge for a little bit like this isn't a little one but for example this is a battery bank here let's go ahead and hook it up to the battery bank and now the battery bank's charging it so you can just bring one of these with you and charge it up and you won't ever have to worry about not being able to get into your lock when it is like this actually i i did the wrong code the one from earlier so left right left right left right you can still unlock it when it's charging, which is pretty awesome. So I guess I just confirmed that. <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. If you're new to my channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button and then the little bell icon next to it to get alerted when I make new videos. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you want to keep in touch with me. That's the easiest way to get a hold of me. And that's the two places I'm the most social on. Please follow me on Twitch. I will have a link to that in the description as well. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.